Thanks for checking out another video, family. Make sure y'all mash the like button as soon as y'all come in the building. Problem to Colorado, we back at it again with another episode on a Sunday. Let's get it. So, Charles Kelly and Shadora Sanders had some things to say about five-star Carmine McClain, who's been going through a rough little stretch at Colorado so far. Like I always said, man, those workouts at, out at home are not the same as the workouts with a college trainer. I've been saying that. Look at what Shador had to say about Carmani. Carmani's funny. Um, Sanders said at the Pac-12 media day on Friday, he calls Carmani pukey Carmani. He's getting adjusted to the altitude real well. We have a bet like every day that he's not going to throw up. Wow. Charles Kelly said, Carmani's definitely a guy that has the ability. Of course, he got a lot of work to do to get better at this level. Coach Prime will be the first to tell you. It's not about... What you do out there is about how you do it. We want to play a certain way. There's a certain standard that we want to do, and it's our job as coaches to get these players to that place. With that said, being said from Charles Kelly, I'm just wondering if it could be a possibility that it takes Carmani a little bit of time to see the field. Like I said, I, I always keep comparing him to the five-star that was at Michigan that didn't really start out on the field, but eventually, toward the end of the season, started and started balling out. And what we're seeing right now from Carmani is the fact that he's really he's really struggling to adjust to the altitude and just the college workouts. People don't understand that never played college ball. Those workouts are a beast. You're getting up at 5, 6 in the morning. You're getting that work in, in, in the heat, getting it in, then coming in there, man, and, and just... The stuff you got to do, you know, you're eating the schedule. It's a lot for a, a guy coming from high school. So you can do all the work you want back at home, but it's not the same work that Coach Mo going to put you through. And I think he's kind of getting that, adjusting to that. And then when you add in the altitude, it, it, it's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. Like I say, college athletes that, that did it, they know. But he's going to get adjusted. It's going to take a little bit of, um, probably a little bit of more time. But like Shador Sanders, like, He's been puking every day, so they having bets to see if Carmine is going to even throw up today. Wow. So that just lets you know that it possibly could be what he's eating. He has to maybe adjust his diet, make sure he's getting a lot of water, a lot of hydration. He's probably not drinking enough that's causing him to be dehydrated when he get out there. So they probably need to make sure that his nutrition level is at an A-plus point so he won't be doing all that throwing up because at, at – a certain point, like, it's funny and everything, but it started to become concerning when a guy is throwing up at workouts every day, even after they've been there for weeks. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Definitely something that the Colorado trainers need to keep eye on. But um, I feel as though Carmine's going to be ready. Once he gets that out the way, he's going to be ready to get in, put that work down for the Colorado Buffaloes this season, and just ball out like we know the five-star will. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section.